what if there was no kindness in the world? Would you feel sad, lonely, or scared? Could you depend on anyone? Maybe you wouldn't feel safe because there's no one you could trust. Arguments would most likely happen all the time. More wars would break out, and the world would be a dystopia. There's already a problem with lack of kindness in the world. Wars are forcing people out of their homes, and sadly, even out of their countries. People are fighting more, arguing more, and also trying to keep other kinds of people away from them, like banning certain races and religions from coming to the country. What's up with that? You only get one life, so you should look for as many chances as possible to be kind in your life. What if kindness spread all over the world and there's no hate? Instead of a dystopia, the world would be a real utopia. No wars would happen. People would have the chance to speak up and share their ideas and feelings. There would be no discrimination, insults, or negativity. How can we help kindness spread across the world? We can make videos on kindness and spread our knowledge on kindness by making TED Talks about kindness. But why is kindness important? Kindness is important because being kind is the foundation and the key to peace. Being kind is how you build peace. And we need to build peace because if we don't, our world will spiral into chaos. Our world is really one big family and our family would collapse. The famous author Mark Twain said, kindness is the, is the language which the deaf can hear and the blind can see. I think this quote means that kindness is such an important virtue that it sparks your heart. Aesop, the famous Greek philosopher said, no act of kindness, no matter how small, is ever wasted. Which means even if you do a small act of kindness, it will never be forgotten. A random act of kindness is when you act kind, with no thought of getting anything in return or anyone noticing. You do this because your heart sparks to it. Here are some ways to be kind. Smiling at someone as they walk by, or waving at someone. You might ignore someone, never give a chance to be kind to them, and end up forgetting it. You can buy someone who's hungry a hot dog. But if you have the time, it's even better to do a service project. That service project can be doing beach cleanups, working in the food pantry, or helping the elderly or homeless in your community. Sometimes being kind isn't easy. Sometimes you have to be kind to a mortal enemy, such as a little brother or sister. I'm kidding. I know that can be hard. I know that can be hard sometimes. Even I have trouble with it when I feel like my brother is ignoring me and shutting me out. I know I get on my big brother's nerves a lot. I mean a lot. But do, you know what do, but do you know what he does for every single morning? He makes my lunch every single morning. Even if you're frustrated with someone, you should still be kind. You might be the light they need in their dark day. Say the person was in a bad mood because they got in a fight with their best friend. Or maybe they're really hungry and you just bought the last hot dog. But if you give up the hot dog to him or her, you get rid of the rain cloud. You brighten up their day. While it also lines up your day too. How do you know what you're doing is kind? All religions talk about the golden rule, which is a rule that talks about kindness. Christianity says, in everything, do to others as you would have them do to you. Islam says, not one of you truly believes until you wish for others what you wish for yourself. The Baha'i faith says, lay not on any soul a load that you would not wish laid upon you, and desire not for anyone things you would not desire for yourself. The other cool thing about kindness, often it comes back to you. We mean not all the time, but you should act with kindness because it's the right thing to do, not because you want something in return. No matter what, you'll always go to good and feeling side. So, would you rather have a world full of kindness or a world full of hate and despair? I hope this TED Talk has inspired you to choose kindness and find ways to be nice, helpful, and even encouraging. And because you'll never regret being kind, you never regret being the light in someone's dark day.